Chill more ice cream, yeah? Okay, the title is What kind of worker does the Lord use? So we just asked. But the people say, okay, okay. Uh, Jesus asked, who do people say that I am? At the time the disciple answered, people say Jesus is or uh, John the Baptist or Elijah, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Prop <laughs> No, in that answer, didn't say anything. And then he asked, then, who do you say that I am? Okay. He asked the disciples, who do you say that I am? At the time, Peter confessed, Lord, you are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Okay. Uh, when Jesus hears his confession, he said, okay, I will be my church on the cross. No, she just said, I will build my church on the confession of a Peter. What is church? The church is not just a building. The gathering of those who are saved is the church. So it means that through your confession faith that the event will take place. Uh, then what kind of workers does God use? Oh, God used the worker who knows who Jesus is. In other words, those who know the gospel correctly. You know, if that person doesn't know uh, who Christ is, uh, doesn't know about the gospel, how can you say kind of person? Our Lord said, you know, this gospel of the kingdom will be preached all over the world every time the end will come. Okay. Uh, here, what kind of work does God use? This gospel should be praised because this, you know, that person should know the gospel correctly. Okay, not only knowing, okay, knowing itself is not enough, but he should have a conclusion and answer with this gospel. You know, if a person uh, says, and any other things except God, God not use that kind of person. He should tell only the gospel, but you know, to him, the gospel is like him because he is adding other things. This gospel should be delivered to all of the world, but you know. In the midst of that, that person stopped preaching the gospel. What has happened? So we don't need to do anything else. What we should do is only preach the gospel. So the person who doesn't have the answer with this gospel, he cannot continue to preach this gospel. So God uses the worker representatively. Uh, those are Peter and Paul. So Peter is a fisherman, so he is a little he is a learning person. Okay, he is unlearning. So he didn't have much knowledge. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, what he said is just as he learned, he preached. <laughs> then, uh, did God use only the unlearned person? It is not. Uh, 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 Doesn't God use the learned person? It is not. Yeah, on the contrary, Paul is a very learned person. <laughs> that means Paul was used greatly. <laughs> uh, they are taught a different person, but God used both of them. Both of them have common points. Both of them have conclusions and answer with this gospel. <laughs> Through their whole lives, they just preach the gospel only. Because they have the conclusion and answer with this gospel. <laughs> we do not need any other thing. The gospel itself is enough for us. <laughs> God is everything. There are everything in the gospel. <laughs> this kind of person only speaks the gospel. If you have this kind of answer, then God will use it to the end. To the end. <laughs> what kind of workers does God use? <laughs> so God called them and then uh, God made them to preach this gospel. <laughs> okay, this time I will tell you about the content and the method of the gospel. Evangelism. Okay, today the main point is what kind of workers does God use for their preach the gospel? So, this is today's title and the theme. Okay, already uh, you know about it well, but you know, we have time, so I will explain about it again. What is the great problem of these days, the Christians? God is living. God reigns his people specifically, but people doesn't experience this kind of thing. <laughs> Even they speak with their mouth of God is alive, God is with us, but they didn't have any experience about that. Why the reason? Uh, in two ways, this, uh, it will be delivered, God is living. Okay. God's living evidence will appear in two ways. That is, through the fulfillment of the word and answer of the prayer. Okay. That is, answer of prayer. <laughs> Why? The God the Father still gives us the words and fulfills this word. <laughs> Our Lord said, you know, please pray in my name and surely I will do it. So in the name of Jesus, you know, when people pray, surely it will be fulfilled. He is living and he hears our prayer and he gives the answer to us. You know, God is still alive and fulfills his word and gives the answer to us. Then why didn't people experience this now? There's a way to experience this. That is preaching the gospel. Why doesn't people 
experience that God is living. Even God is great, God is reigning his people specifically. Because you know, people do not preach the gospel because of that they cannot experience God's living. So anyone who experiences that God is alive, that they can't uh, Okay. They have no choice but to preach this gospel. But the congregation still doesn't have any concern about that. The believers do not know about the gospel well, and even they know the gospel, but they didn't. Uh, they doesn't concern about. They do not have any concern about preaching the gospel. When, uh, when you preach the gospel at that time, you will experience God is alive and that God is with me. Why? The word of God said, you know, go and make disciples every nation. And then what he said is, I will be with you to the end of the earth with the all authority in heaven and on earth. If you go try to make disciples at that time, surely God, the Lord, will be with you with the authority in heaven and on earth. At the time, you will surely experience the fulfillment of the word and the answer of prayer. Okay. Mark 16, 15 through 20. What does it say? You go and uh, preach this, uh, you go all nations and preach this gospel. At the time, the demons will depart. Even when you touch your hands on that person, you know, they will be healed. Even uh, if you drink the poison, you will not die. You know, at the time, you will surely experience that God is living and living. Why? The reason is, you know, God who is on the throne, the Lord who is on the throne is with you. When you go to all people with this gospel at that time, our Lord will be with us. Okay. When you receive the spirit of the power at the time, you know, you will be my witness to the end of the earth. That. Okay. When can you be filled with the Holy Spirit and you are filled with the, His power? Or when you preach this gospel, at the time, you know, you will have the power. Why does God give us the power and evidence to us, you know, for us to become the witness? So when we do all in, in preaching this gospel, at that time, our Lord promised he will give us the power and feeling of the Holy Spirit. So let's see the realistic evidence. Okay, there was a crippled man in front of the temple gate. Many people passed by and gave him the money, but you know, Peter and John stared at him. And then this, this crippled man uh, pulled out his hand and asked the money to them. At that time, what Peter said is, 
I do not have silver or gold. But with what I have, I give unto you. In the name of it, uh, Jesus of Nazareth, arise and walk. At the moment, you know, this group of men He was crippled from birth. He never can stand. But, you know, that crippled man he was so happy and he runs to the temple court and everyone saw that person why that person for 40 years that he was crippled and you know many people saw him <laughs> People misunderstood uh, Peter, make him walk. So at the time, you know, people uh, gathered around Peter. At the time, Peter said, okay, why do you see me? You know, I didn't do these things. Just what I did is preach the gospel, the name of Jesus Christ, then, you know, with this man's faith, he can stand up and arrive. If Peter didn't uh, preach this gospel, then you know, he will never experience this kind of thing. When Peter preached this gospel, at that time, this man's spiritual problem was solved. And also, you know, he is the one. Uh, he was saved and he was healed. You know, when we preach this gospel, at the time we can experience God is alive and God is working like this way. Okay, um, things happen in Samaria. Believe me, Philip went to Samaria, no one goes. There he preached this gospel Christ. What does the Bible tell us? No, the demons, the evil spirits should depart. The crippled man stand up and also, you know, the paralyzed person was healed. At that time, you know, the, you know, the, that, okay, that city was filled with joy. Okay. What we saw is just, you know, out of appearance what happened, but, you know, 그렇죠. we should see, you know, how God works. Only the evangelist 그렇죠. can experience it. Yeah. They want to have the correct gospel and he preached this gospel at the time. This kind of thing happened. 그러니까. So when you preach this gospel at that time, you will experience fulfillment of word answer of prayer. But people, you know, the believers doesn't care about this and just doesn't deliver the gospel. So whoever you meet, what you should do is, you know, make that person know the gospel correctly and make him enjoy the gospel correctly and make him to preach this gospel correctly. Okay, just he himself know the gospel and stay, you know, enjoying the gospel only. Uh, at the moment, he cannot really experience this kind of uh, things. Now, the Lord who is on the throne, you know, he, he managing the controls the word evangelization. So, when you preach the gospel at that time, you will experience the, the Lord who is on the throne is working. So, so many evangelists, great evangelists, they, you know, uh, Moody and uh, William Carey and etc. 
they all experience this uh, while they are preaching the gospel. Okay, then who will be used in this gospel preaching? Okay, what kind of workers are used for preaching this gospel? Okay, they are what? The ministers, right? Okay, uh, that is today's uh, Bible verse, Matthew 16, 13 through 20. Okay, you want to understand the gospel correctly. God uses the one who understands the gospel correctly. Uh, the lay lead, uh, lay people, they, okay, if they think, oh, I study the theology and I will become a pastor and I will uh, be, I will be used as a evangelist, then, you know, it is his wrong realization. Including your country and, you know, uh, there are no seminar schools who train this evangelism correctly. Okay, why does, uh, why do the lay person think uh, okay, through studying theology, I will be used for gospel preaching evangelization. Okay. But they think is okay. I'm lacking. I do not know about it well. So okay, how can I preach the gospel? But that thinking itself is wrong. After being saved, I'm very thankful. Okay. Um, because I didn't know the gospel, because of this, I had so many hardships. Not knowing this gospel, because of this, I did idol worship and just did so many wrong things. This person, when he realized the gospel, he is so thankful and he's a, uh, he was very grateful for his uh, saving. Then, you know, when he looked around, there are so many people are living like him in the past. So, okay. It is not that, you know, through studying much, we can evangelize. Okay. If I become a perfect person, I can preach the gospel. No. Okay. When can you be perfect? Till the end, till the death, that you will not be perfect, right? So, First Corinthians one twenty one it says, "하나님이 사람을 통해서 전도의 미련한 것으로 First Corinthians one twenty one it says." For since in the wisdom of God, the word through its wisdom did not know him, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Okay, the evangelist is a very foolish way. But God was pleased to, okay, to uh, save the, those who believe with this you know, foolish way. So don't be okay, don't misunderstand. Ah, because you know I explain it well so they can believe. No. 
I appreciated him so well because that he believed. Mm -hmm. That itself is your misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. no, those are who do not know the gospel, the evangelism. Mm -hmm. the evangelism is not that kind of things, you know. Those who are appointed to be saved, that they believe, Acts 13, 48. The one who was chosen by God and predestined by God before the creation, uh, in his time schedule, you no, know, when okay, that person meets you. So when they heard this gospel through you, at the time, you know, he had no choice but to leave. So evangelism is not our ministry, it is the minister of God. It is minister of God, but I just use to arrange his ministry. So okay, this person uh, believed in me. He was destined to be uh, destined and appointed to be saved because 그러니까, of that reason he saved. It is not you explained it well. They he believed 그렇죠. it is not. 알고, 뭐, so you know, if we know it correctly, anyone who are saved can evangelize. 어쩌면, 뭐, 뭐, you know, in some sense, the 그렇죠. lacking person can evangelize uh, better. Because he is lacking so he didn't use many other words, just you know, directly he will preach the gospel that Jesus is Christ. Already it was prepared by God, that person is prepared by God. So when you just go at the time, you know, uh, he have no choice but to accept gospel. Okay. Uh, if there is a someone who fall into water, just uh, what you should do is uh, pull him out from the water. <laughs> or you know, you just uh, throw the rope and pull it near to you. At the time, he can be saved. <laughs> okay. The person who throw the rope should become morally clean. <laughs> Anyone can throw the rope. <laughs> Only the learned person can throw the rope. Okay, so please do not misunderstand. Okay, evangelism is what God does. Then what is evangelism? Okay, uh, God concerns the you know, most precious thing. That is evangelism. Because of this gospel, God moves everything, even the economy and the politics. God moves everything, centered the evangelism. God is controlling everything according to the time schedule of the uh, okay, salvation. So those who are used here are the most blessed person. Why? God saves the man through man. Okay. That is evangelism. Okay, so evangelism is what God does, the work of God. So what we should do is we should enjoy Emmanuel. Okay, we should enjoy that God is with us. Okay. How can we be with God together? Can we, how can we be with God together? Okay, okay. enjoy, with, uh, enjoy be, being with God the most. That, that is what? Evangelism. Okay. Mostly, you know, we look at ourselves and be disappointed. Okay. 
which, which when we see ourselves, uh, we easily is even though the moment you are disappointed by yourself, you know, God, yeah, even the moment well. God is with you also. Even when you make mistakes, God is with you at the time also. So what you should in okay, what you should see is a thing in manual, even though I'm lacking, but God is with me who is lacking. So, okay. Okay, mostly the lay persons that they misunderstand about evangelism. I explained about it before. Okay. Wherever you go, there is God prepared person, but many cases you think, oh, how can I explain this? Because this thing, okay. okay, the one knows about the gospel, that person can evangelize well. Okay. What you should know correctly is only one, that is God, the gospel. Then when should you go for evangelism? Now. Okay, you should go now for evangelism. When you pray for the evangelist, at that time, God will open the door. Okay, uh, when Paul goes to evangelize, you know, he didn't go up for evangelism only. You know, before evangelism, he prayed. Why? Evangelism is the work of God, so he prayed to receive the guidance of Holy Spirit. Okay. Uh, God prepared the place and even persons and the work also for. God prepared the place and God prepared the person. So we need to receive the guidance of God. So, when you realize this, okay, when this will be clear till that moment, you should pray. But you didn't pray, you didn't, you do not pray for evangelism. Right? If you pray really for evangelism at the time, God's Holy Spirit guides you completely. When I receive the grace and the power at that time, God will attach the person to you. So, for, uh, before Paul goes to evangelize, you know, he received the grace first. When the, when the door of evangelism was locked at that time, what will we do? But, you know, Paul's case, uh, he didn't try to go, instead of that, he entered into prayer. No, uh, that is the moment God blocked the way, uh, the way to go Asia. Instead of that, he prepared the way for Macedonia. So when the door was blocked, at that time, God will open another big door. So how nice it is. So, you know, please pray until the moment everything will be clear. And even Paul, okay, before he went to Rome, he prayed. Okay, he was filled with the Holy Spirit and he was received, he was guided by the Holy Spirit. So, 
Paul said, you know, I will see Rome also. It was Paul saying, but oh, what did the Lord said? Paul, you should testify this even in Rome. Okay. Uh, because Paul said, because of that, just the, uh, the Lord followed his saying. No. Okay. When Paul was filled with the Holy Spirit at the time, he realized the plan of God. So eventually it is the work God does. Then what I should do is enjoy Emmanuel. Then when should I go? When God opens the door. When the door was locked, then, you know, just wait till the moment God opens another door. So you should discover what is evangelism. So God uses the workers who knows the gospel correctly. Uh, sorry, uh, God uses who understand the evangelism correctly. Okay, when you evangelize, what we should deliver is, you know, Jesus' life. So, the, the workers God uses is the one who knows Jesus Christ well. Okay. God uses who know about Jesus Christ well. The representative person is Paul. Paul accepted Jesus Christ. Okay, Acts 9, 1 through 10, Paul met Christ on the way to Damascus. When Paul met Christ, he got all the answers. Uh, the past problem he worried so much was, you know, solved completely. What was his Paul is very smart and learned person. He, oh no, he was raised up under Gamaliel. Okay. And he learned the uh, Old Testament. So, you know, okay. Uh, he had all answers about that. Even the Paul studied the Old Testament, but he didn't know this Old Old Testament talks about the Messiah who will come. When he met Christ, he realized that ah, it was you know. He, he who was prophesied in the Old Testament is this Christ. Okay. When, when Stephen was martyred at the time, you know, uh, Paul stand, uh, stood beside him and he became the witness about that. Those who who throw the stone to kill Stephen, you know, they are you know angry and gnashing the teeth. But Stephen's face, who are stoned to death, you know, his face is bright. How he can die? How could he die so peacefully? So even Stephen's face become bright. Even the Stephen prayed for those who stoned him. 
uh, Paul couldn't understand about that. <laughs> but when he met Christ, he understand it. He realized about it. 자, 왜 주의 제자들이 저렇게 고생당한 것까지 예수를 저렇게 따라다니냐 말이야. Why, you know, Jesus' disciples follow Jesus even they had so many 그렇죠. hardships. 자, 이 무식한 베드로가 말이지. 뭐, 이게 뭐야. 아무도 배운 게 없는 게 그래요. 아, 예수는 말한 게 아니면 이 나쁜 말이야. No, that unlearned Peter, he just uh, proclaimed that the name of Jesus Christ. Then how that how does the crippled man arise? 바울이 이 그리스도를 만난 순간 모든 답이 다 When Paul met Christ at the time, you know, he had all answers about these questions. 전도가 안 되는 거는 그렇게 If, if the evangelism doesn't take place to you, it means that you didn't have the answer and conclusion with this Christ. If you meet Christ correctly at that time, you will become Paul. You will like Paul. Is how we use him on the two with the Tabi Muna? Yes, you mean she can do water, water and you manage. Okay, when Paul met Christ, he realized, you know, this Lord is resurrected and he is alive and with us now. He is working even now. That is the resurrection, right? Okay. The Lord who is on the throne is working even now. No, he has all authority in heaven and on earth and with the, those who are saved. He perfectly reigns, uh, he delivers, and he protects his delivers, and then lead them to heaven at the end. No, simply saying, no, all our past, present, and future problem solving. Yeah. How did Paul confess and witness? No, Paul's witness. Okay, Philippians chapter 3. Okay. Um, Chapter 3, verse 7 through 14. Yes, you okay. Jesus is even living now. He is sitting on the throne and he is working. Okay. So, uh, after realizing this Christ, you know, I didn't have anything to boast. Everything is rubbish to me. My, you know, great knowledge and my, you know, uh, all what all what I had, all I had, you know, all those are the rubbish. Why knowing Christ is a great surpassing me. So now I'm trying to hold, you know, oh, what is held by God? What is held by God? I want to be held by God's hand. For this, you know, I run. And number three, he said, you know, I will run for the reward from above. Okay. Uh, we like the money and the things on this earth. Uh, okay, on this earth, we have much money and some people, okay, people uh, revere us. We like those things. No, our level is different from Paul. We like the things on this earth, but Paul said he consider rubbish the things on this earth. Paul pursued the things of God. 
그리스도의 손에 잡힌다. 그것이 말이야. 위에서 부르신 그의 상. 그의. And he runs for the prize and reward from above. 이게 진짜 그리스도 제자라서. 그렇죠. It is the compassion of those who know the Christ correctly. God have no choice but to use this kind of person. Okay, number three. Uh, okay, God uses those who have the assurance of salvation. Okay. If I do not have assurance of salvation, if I do not have any touching heart for this salvation, then how can we evangelize? Okay. Uh, evangelism is not any other thing, you know, because uh, we are saved. The Spirit is so thankful, so we have no choice but to evangelize. So, but people do not know what is salvation, so they have no choice but to be like that. So every moment when you enjoy the assurance of salvation and uh, the touching part of salvation, you will evangelize. And also, uh, the, the worker God uses is the one uh, who experienced God's specific hand, the specific hand of Jesus Christ. Okay. In other words, he experienced that God is the son of living God. Okay. Uh, even when you are successful, when you fail, God is with you. You are in the hand of God. Uh, the one who are disappointed is me, but you know, our Lord will not be disappointed. Okay, I made a mistake, I fall down, but our Lord didn't fall, uh, doesn't fall down. Uh, God uses those who know this. The truth God who is in me. Okay. You should be able to see the Trinity God who is in me. Okay. If you are saved, then you met the Trinity God. He makes your body as his temple. Okay. Uh, the Trinity God makes my body his throne and he abides in me. Whenever you see, you can see these things at the moment. You will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed of seeing uh, lacking you yourself. And on the contrary, when you see others, you know, even though he's there lacking person, but you see the church God who is in that person at the moment, you see that person very precious. <laughs> even though he is very renowned person, if he is a non-believer, then you know there's no God in him. <laughs> His father is the devil. <laughs> He is living under the background of hell. One day, he will perish in the midst of a disaster. One day. Now, at the moment, you will have pity on that non-believer. What is needed to that person is not money, not fame, not authority. No, Christ is really needed to that person. No, he needs the Christ who, break, who can break down the disasters. No, his knowledge, money, and authority, fame can never, you know, break down three disasters. 
내가 이 축복이 감사하게 되면 불쌍이 돼. If I'm very thankful with the, the blessing God gives to me at the moment, you will have pity on the non-believers. 그러니까 불신자 부러워할 것도 없고 두려워할 것도 없어. So you don't need to fear non-believers. You don't need envy non-believers. Why? You know, the truth God is in me. 그게 진짜 보이면요, 그걸로 감사. If you see this realistically at the time, you will be thankful. With this only. 그러니까 하나님 만난 길이 그리스도와 하나님 누리는 길이 그리스도인데 아니 그리스도만 보는 거. Okay, the way to meet God, the way to enjoy God is Christ. But many people do not know about the Christ. 그래서 내가 이 복음을 진짜 안 다는 것이 하나님이 쓸 수밖에 없고요. 모르는 대로 할 수. So you know, I know this gospel. Then God have no choice but to use me. 그렇죠. 복음을 지내야 되는데 복음도 모르는 거예요. 이렇게. This gospel should be delivered, but if that person does not know the gospel, then how can God use that person? So, number three, uh, the blessing okay, the blessing of the saved. The blessing the saved one can enjoy. Okay. Uh, the blessings are in Matthew 16, 17 through 19. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, that person have the blessing, blessing of preaching gospel. It is the blessing of the rock. Okay. The power of hate will not overcome that person. If he is saved, then he surely can win over. The power of a hate. Okay. This, you know, power of hate is by the power of death and hell and Satan. And also, he gave us the key of heaven. Okay, key of heaven, uh, it can be the what? The answer of prayer, and also you could enjoy the throne. If you enjoy the blessing of the saved, then uh, you will okay experience the evangelism. And then a uh, true gospel preaching and the preaching of the preaching the true gospel and the blessing of that. Okay. Our Lord said, do not worry about what to eat, what to wear. Okay. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, then I will be added unto you everything. So, you know, preaching the gospel itself is everything, everything will follow to this. And Matthew 10, 40 through 42, even one cup of water doesn't lose hold of the reward. We are not evangelizing because uh, we want to receive the reward. Okay. God's everything, every desire is in preaching the gospel. So, you know, when we preach the gospel, everything will follow. You are the one who received the block of blessings. Now you are receiving as team ministers. You should find this kind of workers and raise them up and you should send them out. 
So you are really blessed person. 예수님께서는 가서 전도하라 그러고 가서 제자 삼아. Our Lord didn't say go and evangelize, but 그렇죠. he said, you know, go and make disciples. 여러분이 요소 요소 지역지역마다 진짜 하나님이 전도할 사람 찾는 가지고 훈련시켜서 파주시켜서 전도 될 수밖에 없는 시스템 만드는 모든 식으로. So you know, everywhere you go, you know, you find who okay, you will find those who can evangelize at the moment, uh, and then you make a system for the evangelism at the time. God will bless you everything. 현장에는 다 있는데 도움은 없어. Okay, there are everything in the field, but okay, one thing is lacking. That is not for you. Even there are heresies and the what the heresies and gen, okay. Even though there are many churches, there is no who preach this gospel. So our Lord said to us, "Go and make disciples all nations, and go all over the world and preach this gospel." Yeah. At that time, I will uh, make you the I will make your witness to all of the world. Because of this, I will give you the fill of the Holy Spirit, and I will give you the evidence and power. So please pray for your reason and your nation. Okay. How many workers are need for? My nation evangelizing. Please hold it as a covenant. Okay. Uh, Korean, uh, the number of the Korean people is um, 40 million. So uh, we need uh, 400,000 disciples are needed. Okay. 100 to 1. So, how many uh, member of people do you have in Adelphia? So, count it and then uh, imagine how many disciples are needed in your country. Maybe 1.8 million disciples are needed in Adelphia. Please pray for that. 그렇게 숫자를 보면 지역으로 보면 좀 달라요. 그렇죠? 음. 지역을 쪼개 가지고 아, 지역이 몇 개니까 이 지역에 제자 한명 찾아도 매우 필요하다. 그렇죠? And you know, okay, divide the uh, your nations and then okay, reason by reason and then okay, even one person in one reason then how many disciples are needed in my nation? 그 지역을 책임지는 제자를 70인 제자. Okay, the disciple who is check charge of that region we call it 70 workers. Yes, because the Jesus Christ, the Jesus Christ, the Jesus Christ. Okay, even Jesus himself established the, the lay person disciples, the 70 workers. Who will take charge of the region? So please, you know, uh, find out the 70 workers. Who is the disciple who is responsible for that region? 내가 이 제자를 세워서 지역을 다 정확히 만들어 버리면 그건 여러분 세계가 만들어 버리죠. If you establish it, that 70 workers and make that person to uh, conquer that region, then you know, 그래, already you did the word evangelization. So anyway, holding this covenant and receive the training. 네. 시간이 다음 단계까지. 포럼을 간단하게 할까요? Okay, uh, now my lecture is okay. That's it for my lecture here, and then uh, let's have a forum. Okay, please share your forum with Esther together. Wait a minute. Let's share your forum. Okay, Pastor Gazan, would you share your forum first?
يا فرست اوف اول اي وونت تو سي ثانك يو اباوت ذيس بريشيس اند امبورتانت ليسن سبيشال ذيس ايفانجيليزم از اور لايف از ا بورن اجين كريستيان ذا مين تيم از what kind of person god use so what i learn for today is the first one uh, that person who use god for evangelism must know uh, and have a good fellowship with the word of god because our, our foundation is the word of god for everything and the, the, the other is he must have a big uh, belief that uh, god give answer for his prayer uh, the other is he must believe that wherever uh, wherever he was to evangelize jesus is always with us and gives power his power on us he mentioned uh, as example peter uh, and that uh, crippled man really it is uh, very amazing uh, peter really didn't have any money but in his life jesus was present so by power of his name he healed that crippled man this is uh, the big uh, thing for evangelism because jesus christ said that i am with you this promise is for evangelism a great commission uh, and that the, the 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 person must understand the gospel correctly who is jesus christ jesus jesus is a, the, jesus is a christ and he must understand the office of uh, the christ uh, and also he must enjoy by emmanuel god is with him uh, if he looking his uh, situation and environment he can't uh, he can't be a witness for jesus christ but he must stitch his eyes on his king uh, jesus christ and he must enjoy by emmanuel he he must also feel by the holy spirit and and, and lead by the by, by the holy spirit if we lead by our service and motives we will not have a uh, good fruit maybe any danger will be faced will face and also we we must deny our service and we must follow jesus christ the other one is uh, who live by faith oh jesus christ and the other one is uh, preaching the gospel and the blessing this gospel blessing he mentioned matthew 6:33 and matthew 10:40 the other one is after you evangelize we must raise disciples by giving the true gospel so multiplication will be happen and what i take as assignment is to pray for ethiopia evangelization and africa and middle east evangelization uh, i have a, a prayer team every saturday morning they pray about the ethiopian and african middle east ministries to evangelize and to send a uh, missionary to uh, those countries. Thank you so much. This is my forum for today. Thank you. Yeah, 감사합니다. 오늘도 중요한 강의를 전해 주셨습니다. 어, 전도는 중생한 우리들의 삶이 되어야 합니다. 어, 어떤 일꾼을 하나님께서 쓰시는가? 어, 전도에 쓰시는 사람은 하나님과 교제하는 자, 좋은 교제를 하고 있는 자, 말씀과 어, 깊은 교제를 하는 자입니다. 그리고 
그 일부는 큰 믿음을 가진 자입니다. 어, 큰 믿음은 어떤 믿음이냐? 하나님께서 우리의 기도에 응답하신다는 것을 믿는 믿음. 또 우리가 전도하는 그곳에 예수님께서 능력으로 우리와 함께 하신다는 믿음을 가진 자입니다. 그 예로 베드로와 안전뱅이를 들수 있습니다. 어, 예수 그리스의 그 이름이 안전뱅이를 어, 살리고 고쳐주셨습니다. 예수님은 약속하셨습니다. 어, 지상 명령을 주시면서 너와 함께 하겠다 약속하셨습니다. 그리고 예수님, 어, 우리 주님은 예수 그리스도를 제대로 아는 자를 쓰십니다. 그리스도의 삼중식을 제대로 깨달은 자를 쓰십니다. 또한 예수님은 우리 주님은 인마누엘 누리는 자를 쓰십니다. 우리가 우리 상황이나 환경을 볼 때에 그것을 보는 것이 아니라 어, 그 속에서 우리와 함께 하시는 왕 대신 예수 그리스도에 늘 우리의 눈이 가 있어야겠습니다. 그래서 인마누엘을 늘 붙잡고 있어야겠습니다. 어, 또한 어, 주님께서는 성령 충만하여 성령의 인도를 받는 자를 쓰십니다. 우리의 것으로는 절대 좋은 열매를 맺을 수 없습니다. 그래서 우리가 우리 자신을 부인하고 예수님을 따라가야겠습니다. 어, 마태복음 6장 33절 또 마태복음 10장 40에서 42절 어, 참 복음으로 우리가 어, 제자를 세우고 또 이, 이렇게 제자가 세워져 참 복음으로 제자가 세워졌을 때 많은 열매를 맺을 수 있습니다. 아프리 어, 에디오피아와 아프리카 보그마를 놓고 기도하고 있습니다. 어, 저희 팀이 있는데요. 매주 토요일 날 팀과 함께 기도를 하는데 에디오피아와 아프리카에 어, 사역을 놓고 기도하고 또 그곳에 또한 성교사를 보낼 수 있게 해달라고 기도하고 있습니다. 오케이, okay, 땡큐. 오케이, 댄, 패스 잔 시그니. 됐습니다. I am once again thankful to Pastor uh, for the lecture. And today I'm really blessed and uh, received the uh, God's grace in my life and in my ministry. Pastor spoke about uh, the person whom God uses, the worker uh, who will be used by God. So, first, uh, Pastor said, uh, the person who understands the gospel, the person who understands the mystery of Christ. So God will use that person. Matthew 16, 13 to 20, particularly verse 14 and 15, people were uh, not clear who Jesus was. So some, they were telling Elijah, some of them were telling uh, Jeremiah, John the Baptist, one of the prophets. But Peter answered, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. So there comes the real blessing, actually. Then Christ said, Jesus Christ said, uh, you are Peter, I will build my church on this rock. So church is the gathering of the people who have faith. Faith that Jesus is the Christ. And... Uh, those people who find the answer that Jesus is the Christ, they will be used. So that is the true gospel. Then pastor explained very clearly about Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul found the answer on his way to Damascus. Uh, he found the answer that Jesus is the Christ. And before that, he was persecuting people. He was, he was persecuting the believers. And uh, when Stephen was stoned to death, he was supporting that. But once he found the answer, uh, he went on preaching. And uh, when we understand the true gospel, then the power, power of God will manifest and the Holy Spirit will perform miracles. And the best example is in Acts chapter 3. Mm -hmm. uh, before the temple gate, the lame man. So Peter and John, they were telling gold and silver, they do not have, but in the name of Christ Jesus, Christ and walk. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened in Samaria also. Mm -hmm. So when we understand the true gospel and proclaim the gospel, mm -hmm. uh, we can experience uh, God with us, the triune God with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Holy Spirit will empower us and uh, God will do things. We don't need to worry about anything. Because Christ said he will build his church, the triune God will work. And we will receive answers. Receiving answers is opening the door for evangelism. It is not material things. And uh, the second thing, 
important thing is the person who understands what the true evangelism is. So what is the true evangelism? True evangelism is uh, proclaiming the true gospel. So that is the true evangelism, biblical evangelism. And uh, third, third important thing is the person who has the assurance of salvation. Mm -hmm. So only those people who have the assurance of salvation, God will use them. Uh, so pastor explained uh, that also very clearly. Uh, then the blessings of the rock will come to us. So the blessing, blessing of the rock is that the power of the evil will not uh, overcome us. Power of uh, the heads will not triumph over us because uh, the evil power is defeated. Christ solved the problem and that victory will come to us and we will begin to enjoy the blessings of the throne and uh, everything, everything will be Everything will follow us. And uh, so everything needed for the ministry will follow us. And what we need to do is we need to find out uh, the true disciples. Disciples are already prepared in the field. So we need to find the true disciples and train them and commission them. And in, in India, uh, one, uh, 146 million people, 136 uh, million people. And we need uh, lakhs of disciples, committed disciples to save this great nation who are living under uh, the curses, spiritual curses. So I'm sincerely praying uh, to raise committed disciples in India to evangelize this nation with the correct true gospel. So that is my forum. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, uh, message 감사드리고요. 오늘 많이 받았습니다. 또 말씀을 들으면서 제 삶을 또 이렇게 한번 다시 이렇게 보게 되었습니다. 어, 하나님께서 어떤 일꾼을 쓰시는가에 대해서 목사님이 말씀해 주셨는데요. 어, 복음을 아는 자, 그리스도의 비밀을 제대로 아는 자를 쓰신다. 마태복음 16장 13에서 20절. 어, 세례요한 엘라이자 제, 어, 선지자 아닌 베드로는 고백했습니다. 예수는 그리스도라고. 이 고백 위에 내 교회를 세우리라 라고 말씀하셨습니다. 이 교회는 믿음 가진 자의 모임입니다. 이 믿음은 어떤 믿음이냐? 예수 그리스도를 믿는, 예수를 그리스도로 믿는 믿음입니다. 그래서 예수 그리스도를 깨달은 자가 참 어, 전도를 할수 있습니다. 어, 바울은 담의 세계에서 예수 그리스도를 어, 깨닫고 만나게 되었습니다. 음, 우리가 참복음을 이해하고 참 그때 참복음을 깨닫고 이해할 때참 능력이 나타나게 되어 있습니다. 그 예로 사도행전 3장에 어, 베드로가 은과 금은 내게 없으나 나사렛 예수 이름으로 일어나 그러라 했을 때그 안전뱅이가 일어서는 그 역사들을 볼수 있었습니다. 그리고 사마리아에서도 그와 같은 일들이 또 일어났고요. 어, 참복음 전파하는 그곳에 우리의 주님께서 함께 하십니다. 성령께서 역사하시고요. 그래서 우리가 이 복음 전파를 갈때 염려할 필요가 없습니다. 걱정할 필요가 없습니다. 또 하나님께서는 기도 응답을 통해서 그분이 우리와 함께 하심을 또 나타내십니다. 살아계심을 나타내십니다. 어, 그리고 두 번째로 어, 주님이 서시는 일꾼은 참전도가 뭔지 아는 자를 쓰십니다. 참복음을 전파하는 자, 성경적 전도를 깨달은 자를 하나님께서 쓰십니다. 그리고 세 번째 어, 하나님께서 쓰시는 일꾼은 구원의 확신과 감격이 있는 자를 쓰십니다. 어, 엄부의 권세가 너희를 해치 못하겠다라고 말씀하셨는데요. 이미 그리스도께서 이 엄부의 권세를 박살 내셨습니다. 그래서 우리가 할 것은 이 보좌의 축복을 누리고 어, 참된 제자를 찾아 이들을 세워서 파송하는 것입니다. 인도에도 어, 1,600만 어, 그 제자가 필요합니다. 그래서 인도 복말 놓고 기도하고 있습니다. Okay, thank you. And then, uh, okay, okay. Uh, Madam Nesmani, hello. Can you hear me? Okay. Would you okay close to the okay, mic and then share your forum? Today is a forum theory, and today teaching is so very important to me. Here is a very briefly message. Uh, today, Pastor Singh taught us. Uh, it's a very important thing to realize in the right gospel. Who will have the right gospel? God will use that kind of person. 
there are many people they are have many kind of different kind of gospel but only christ gospel is very important through the that only uh, we people can receive hands through the christ so the pastor taught about the uh, message that is a very important message uh, who have the right gospel that, that person god will chosen you so that's the first point second point so we to understand the gospel is a very important correctly there are many kind of people are thinking different kind of gospel so christ we should understand the right gospel and officer of christ uh, through the christ only have solution to all kind of problem so that gospel should be preached then he used the word for reference verse book of acts chapter 3 uh, rightly understanding about the gospel is very important so we see the people go disciples they understood uh, they didn't give the honey met and the material some to the people they gave the right gospel so we can see the miracle uh, taking place to when we preach the right gospel of christ uh, other thing is the evangelism is not belong to us it's to god uh, so we have to evangelism mean we have to enjoy the humanity that means we have to be with god that is very important point the other point is taught about the we have to preach the gospel before we have to pray pray is very important he told master that the doors are open the paul and anthony in the room he had the desire to be everything out of the way So you can see the whole church, when you pray, the different kind of things are open to it. So we appreciate the gospel. But God needs, the right who are the God's chosen people. God is open to people to preach this gospel. So it's a very important thing. If before we go to preach the gospel or evangelism, we have to prepare ourselves through the prayer. So we can see the early church, they had the answer. and through the prayers the other thing is he uh, taught about we as uh, who know jesus christ well the god will start his work so that is very important we must know him christ very well in our life then god will use us that is important but the other thing so we have the god gave the authority so we must realize when we hold on the right gospel the god definitely give the authorize authority we can use to overcome all kind of battle of that so after that he told about we should have experience about the god and living god so through this gospel before we preach the evangelism we must know this thing we have to all this kind of today i do not is a nine points so is very important he taught so when we hold these things and when we put in practical we have to wait not our work we have to do we have to wait for god use to us so we must hold on this many teachings are very important so god must ask when we have to do this so it's the time is now we have to preach this gospel now is a moment so it's a very encouraging message sister today i really i bless it so we um, he gave the reference in the book of matthew chapter 16 verse 13 to 20 it's a very briefly message it's a real gospel when we hold on this through this serpent ministry we can conquer the world conquer the sri lanka wherever we are in our region also we can conquer through the holy spirit he will help us when you pray we receive the answer from god then he god will use us thank you so much today we really bless us through your teaching pastor this is my short talk thank you yeah uh pan uh, 일단 어 길게 하셨는데 그 중간 중간에 이 지금 엄지도 좀안 좋고 해서 제가 다 패스는 못 했고요. 일단 중요한 포인트만 그 말씀드리면 어 오늘 중요한 말씀 전해 주셨는데 이게 많은 사람들이 있지만 많은 사람들이 대부분은 다른 복음을 가지고 있다. 그러나 이 참된 복음에만 어 어, 응답이 올수 있고 어, 우리가 응답 받을 수 있다라는 말씀하셨고요. 그리고 어, 우리가 바로 그런 바른 복은 뭐냐? 
바로 삼중지 그리스도를 제대로 아는 것이다. 이분께서 모든 문제를 해결하셨다. 그리고 또한 가지 저 중요한 포인트는 어, 구원은 하나님 손에 있습니다. 그래서 전도하기 이전에 우리가 정말 해야 될 것은 기도해야 하는 것입니다. 음, 전도 이전에 우리의 기도, 성령 기도받기 위한 기도가 필요합니다. 어, 그리고 하나님께서는 예수 그리스도를 제대로 잘 아는 자를 어, 서십니다. 그리고 그 그리스도의 이름을 아는 자에게 그 그리스도 이름의 권세를 주셨습니다. 그리고 그분이 살아계심을 또한 전가하십니다. 예, yeah. okay, thank you. And then, uh, a past b i n o t Kumar. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, especially, I give thanks to God for this opportunity, and also thanks to uh, Pastor Chin for a wonderful uh, lesson. Really, to uh, through today's uh, lesson, I am interested. So, to whom uh, God will use the main point that we have seen that one person who knows the correct uh, gospel, and also God uses the person one who knows uh, Jesus Christ um, completely, and also one who uh, and so knows the uh, so evangelism uh, correctly. So when a person knows the uh, Jesus uh, Christ well, and uh, he can be filled with the Holy Spirit, when he is being filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will empower uh, him to share the true gospel uh, that Jesus is the Christ. So there, uh, may, there are many uh, to today's scripture. We have seen that there are many people who are uh, presenting Jesus in uh, various ways. But the Bible, uh, the correct gospel is uh, from the Bible is that Jesus is the uh, Christ. So this uh, evangelism, uh, it is uh, not our will, but uh, it is the, it is that God does the evangelism. So when a person uh, knows this, uh, that Jesus is the Christ to gospel. So God will uh, use him to share this gospel to many uh, people. So we, we have seen the scripture that the uh, same revelation has been uh, revealed to Peter and also uh, Philip and also Paul. So they all have uh, shared that Jesus is the Christ. So when they have shared this gospel, when they are filled with the Holy Spirit, the power of God is with, uh, with them. So when they have shared this gospel, there are many miracles and wonders have happened. Uh, we, we have seen that is in Samaria and Caesarea and, uh, and also and so through Peter, we have seen uh, the person one who sat before the uh, temple. Uh, there also, and one crippled man was healed. So, by knowing the true gospel and knowing completely uh, Jesus Christ, uh, we can uh, do the uh, great and mighty works in the field through the help of the Lord's strength of the uh, Holy Spirit. So, the uh, resurrection uh, power is uh, with us, and also the Emmanuel. Uh, God is uh, with us, uh, Jesus is with us, and also the blessing of a uh, rock is that we have seen that the power uh, of our heads will not stand against us, when the, I mean, so the hell will not stand or prevail against us. So, because we are uh, victorious through the resurrection of uh, Jesus, so through this lesson, I have. Uh, through this lesson, I have understood that uh, we have to uh, pray uh, before the Lord to raise the true disciples uh, so that uh, they may uh, expand this uh, gospel. So, because uh, there are uh, many churches in our areas, and many pastors and the disciples in our areas, but there are few who are the true disciples, uh, those who are uh, sharing the gospel according to the scripture. So I, I am praying that I am uh, doing, working 
on that let god may raise the true uh, disciples uh, in this area so thank you very much for this uh, wonderful lesson thank you ne uh, kita jo ya kam nyo uh, 하나님은 누구를 쓰시는가 어떤 일꾼을 쓰시는가 말씀 주셨습니다. 바로 바른 복음을 가진 자 예수 그리스도를 바르게 아는 자를 쓰십니다. 그리고 또 전도를 바르게 이해한 자를 쓰십니다. 어, 이런 자에게 하나님께서는 성령 충만을 주셔서 어, 예수 그리스도의 참된 복음을 전파하게 하십니다. 어, 전도는 하나님의 전도입니다. 그래서 어, 예수 그리스도를 믿는 자에게 하나님께서는 어, 역사하십니다. 그리고 바울과 베드로는 다른 사람이었지만 어, 두 사람은 예수가 그리스도의 세심을 바르게 알았고 또 여기에 대한 답이 있는 사람이었습니다. 성령 충만을 힘입어 그래서 이 복음을 전거했습니다. 음, 우리는 어, 또한 하나님이 쓰신 사람은 어, 이 그리스도를 참, 참누림을 가진 사람을 쓰십니다. 그리스도를 참되게 누릴 때 현장을 살릴 수 있습니다. 그래서 임마누엘을 누려야 합니다. 어, 임마누엘 예수가 예수가 그리스도 되신다는 이것을 누리는 임마누엘을 한 사람에게는 하나님께서 반석과 같은 축복, 엄부의 권세가 우리를 해치 못하겠다 약속하셨고 천국 열쇠를 주셨습니다. 우리가 참 제자를 놓고 기도해야겠습니다. 여기에도 많은 목사님들이 있지만 참 제자는 별로 없습니다. 그래서 인도에 또 이곳에 하나님께서 참 제자를 이렇게 세워주시도록 기도합니다. 오케이, thank you. 근데 어, 예, 일단 포럼은 여기까지입니다. 혹시 박영원 목사님 뭐 이렇게 또 혹시 가이드 해주실 말씀 있으신가요? 예, 오케이. 아, uh, then, uh, let's finish this meeting. Uh, okay. Uh, Pastor Dino Kumar, would you pray and let's finish this meeting? Okay, ma'am. Uh, dear Jesus, Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity which you have given in our life, life to uh, learn your word, oh Lord. Lord, thank you, Lord, for the Tarakpang Ministries and the Mission for Church and uh, all the uh, teachers and all the elders who are teaching us in a wonderful way. Lord, thank you, Lord, for our pastor Chin. Thank you today. Uh, through uh, his lecture, we are being blessed. Lord, bless him and use him uh, to be a blessing to uh, many people, oh Lord. Lord, uh, uh, from your scripture, as we are learning, Lord, that Jesus is the Christ. Lord, Lord, strengthen us to win many uh, souls uh, nearby our places and uh, Strengthen us to uh, prepare many disciples, the true disciples in our area, Lord. Lord, uh, your power is with us, and uh, when we pray before you for everything, and you will be giving and using us in the mighty way, Lord. Lord, I pray for all the uh, participants uh, in this uh, Zoom, oh Lord. Lord, bless each and every one of us, oh Lord. Lord, I pray for all of our ministries. Lord, use us for your glory and extension of your kingdom, O oh Lord, Lord, so that we may preach uh, this true gospel to many people. Lord, thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. I ask this prayer in Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah, come, Samita. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you. I'm Samita. Thank you. Thank you.